In this video, we're going to look at how to develop your ideas for the layout of your book cover designs. And the term layout refers to how texts and images are arranged on a page. So for this task, you're going to need a piece of paper, a pencil, a rubber, a ruler, or some kind of straight edge. And the first thing I'm going to do is divide my piece of paper into four separate boxes. We're going to come up with four different ideas for our layout. So I've folded my paper over in half one direction. I'm going to fold it over in the other direction so that I should have four separate boxes on my piece of paper. And you can see the creases separating each of these boxes. So now I just want to go over these creases with my pencil and clearly define four different boxes for my uh, layout ideas. To begin my layout design, I need to think about what is the most important information in my design. And since I'm designing for a book cover, that is going to be the book title. So I am going to place my book title right in the center of this page for the first design. I'm using my ruler so that I have a nice straight edge that I'm going to place my letters in. My book cover title, my book title is The Jungle Book, which is quite a long title to fit into this one line. So I might consider breaking the words up a little bit. So if you have a word like the for The Jungle Book or a in your title, you might consider putting that up above and maybe even a bit smaller. So you can think about scale Think about what are the most important words in your book title. Now I need to plan out how I'm going to fit the words jungle and book into this second space that I've created. And since jungle is a longer word, I've placed a mark where I think jungle might end. So I'm giving that word just a bit more space than the word book. Now that I have my title written out, I can think about where I'm going to place images. And I'm going to use my investigation drawing that was based on my theme. So my theme is rainforest and I have this drawing of a rainforest flower. So I am sketching it in here, just in the lower corner. And I'm thinking about how it might interact with the text. So I'm going to sketch it in so that it looks like it's sitting behind the text on my page. I might also consider filling this negative space or this empty space in the top left corner here by repeating the outer shape of my flower again, just coming off the page there. And I think this is going to help my book cover look just a bit more interesting, like there's more going on and it really relates to the theme of the Jungle Book. For my second layout design, I am going to consider having my title come in at a diagonal here. So I'm still using a straight line to make sure that my lettering is nice and even all the way across, but I'm using my ruler to create a diagonal line across the page where my text is going to go. And just like before, I've, I need to think about how I'm going to position these three words, the jungle book. So I'm making a space for the, for jungle, and then finally planning out where book is going to go. And I'm going to use a different lettering style than in my first design so I can get an idea of what um, one of my other lettering styles that I've developed looks like on the page. Now I'm going to clear up some of these guidelines 
and I'm going to start to think about how I'm going to fit my image onto this layout design. So rather than having my flower go behind the text, I think maybe this time I will have my flower kind of wrap around the text, almost like the text or the book title is sitting inside the flower. Now that I have my book titles and images in for two designs, I'm going to think about where I want to place the author's name. So that's the other important information for a book cover is an author's name. So down here at the bottom, I have some empty space and I think that might be a good place to place the author's name. And here I'm just adding just an extra line here. I like the curve of this shape and I think maybe this might help bring the two parts of my book cover together just a little bit more. So you can think about if there are any other extra elements you might like to add to your book cover design. So now I am using my ruler again to plan out my author's name. So I'm making a nice straight line, the top and bottom, and my author's name is going to fit into this space. Now, I don't want my author's name to be as large as my book title. I still want the book title to be the most important information on the page. So it's going to be just a little bit smaller for my author's name. And my author's name is Rudyard Kipling. That is who wrote The Jungle Book. So you will need to look up and find out who your author is for the book title that you've chosen. Okay, so now I have my first two ideas for the layout of my book cover design.